Hey everybody and welcome back to another max velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we're going over the big pattern change that is coming to the United States that will not just bring warmer weather but also the potential for a huge severe weather event early next week. I'll give you a latest breakdown and everything that you need to know in this forecast. Let's first begin though with the chilly temperatures that everybody's seeing today. It has been a cold last 48 hours for a lot of you. Some areas even in Florida have seen below freezing temperatures along with that back up in minnesota is our featured region yesterday morning they were down into the single digits almost near grand forks this morning it's a little bit different a little bit warmer but not by much still talking about low 20s across a large area but luckily there is some change coming to the united states so for right now we have a huge batch of cold air all going around this low pressure system that's currently back up in canada this will eventually start to finally move off to the north and east and speed up over the next few days which will eventually usher in this warm Warmer air going into late week, probably around Friday or so, and as well as into the weekend, we'll begin to notice a change of basically warmer weather. This will impact areas from Texas all the way back through the Midwest, and you may even see this big change as far east as New England going into maybe Saturday of this weekend. Eventually going into Saturday into Sunday, we really start to get well above average areas that have seen snow. You're not going to see snow for much longer. This heat is definitely going to melt the snow no later than this weekend if you're back up in the upper Michigan Peninsula. Going to Sunday into Monday, we'll eventually have a little trough that develops, and I say little, but it's actually going to be a pretty big trough that begins to develop over the central plains actually of the United States. Here's your colder air coming from behind it, your warmer and more humid air on the east side of it. This is what's concerning. If we have that humid air come out of the south and really begin to kick up the potential for some severe weather, we could have some nasty severe storms early next week, that, which could begin as early as Sunday night. So we'll have to watch this very closely. Again, we're a little bit far out, so things may change. Location as well could change. So we're watching that situation very closely as we get closer. Eventually going into to midweek we'll eventually have that uh, low pressure system going to Canada there may be some snow behind it so if you're in North Dakota or northern Minnesota I can't roll out some snow up that direction but again very early from here to be able to forecast that we'll be watching that situation closely as we get closer all right what are we talking about in terms of precipitation over the next week well as of now we're not looking at much of anything across a large portion of the United States unless you're in the northeast or in southern Florida but eventually going into this weekend we'll have this little low pressure system come out of the west in northwest that will be the low pressure system that could bring the severe weather for the upcoming week but for right now some snow possible with this we may actually see some snowfall in the higher elevations could see potentially a half a foot possibly in a couple of regions but other than that this will move off to the east and it'll eventually really strengthen over the central and northern plains that's the big concern for right now once that moves out we'll have a potential line of storms going into maybe monday or tuesday so again timing all that sort of stuff coming pretty soon for you but eventually going to midweek we might have another system develop back down in south texas that could also bring some severe weather maybe mid to late week so again we're getting close to that second severe weather season that technically has already begun so i'll have to watch all this very closely as it unfolds and you may be wondering who is going to see this potential for severe weather well it's too early to get into specific details on the threats and all that even though we possibly could see all modes of severe weather and it very well could be a large area that we're going to be watching but for right now this is the best chance at least for sunday night we may see severe weather stretch from oklahoma back through minnesota according to the instability that's where our highest instability values will be it seems like the best chance though at least sunday night will probably be back up in the western midwest into maybe the central plains monday's a different story it moves a bit further to the east we may see a line of storms but again too early to get into details and specifics but you at least may be wondering what is the confidence of something like this happening in terms of at least seeing a slight risk meaning that we could see at least some scattered severe storms well for right now there's probably about a low to medium chance and that would primarily extend across this region from eastern oklahoma back through southeastern minnesota really would at least in my personal opinion is where i have at least the highest confidence for right now outside of there we may see some severe weather on those regions as well but again we have to iron out the details as we get closer which again we're still a few days out things may change as we get closer to that and i do have some good news for you we have actually some pretty decent rainfall coming to the united states it looks like going into at least this weekend into early next week from that trough i've been mentioning that might bring the severe weather but also could bring a lot of substantial rainfall from Texas. Texas all the way back through the Midwest into the Northern Plains. A lot of good news there. That also includes areas that have not seen a whole lot of rain recently back up here in the Northwestern portions of the United States. The only dead spot area that I can really pick out at this point would be along the East Coast, which has obviously seen that trough kind of stationary for a while. So you guys saw a lot of rain at least over the last few days. That's starting to clear out now. And also another little dead spot back over in the West.
western plains and as well as into areas like New Mexico and Colorado. Temperatures, by the way, going into tomorrow morning, it's going to be another cold one. Make sure you're still protecting your plants and sensitive vegetation. Back over in the southern and southeastern portions of the United States, really from Alabama back into Mississippi and Georgia. Those are the big areas that you have to be mindful of that. Also, freezing temperatures expected further north of there. That is pretty typical with the setup that we have. Also, going to Wednesday, so today's high temperatures are not going to be that impressive across areas like the north, basically talking about the Midwest and as well as back through New England. But there's some improvement coming. Going into next Sunday, and this upcoming Sunday, there's going to be a big difference across the United States. That cold weather no longer will exist. We'll be talking about 60s and low 70s. That'll melt off all that snow that you've seen. And back over in the northwest United States, that's where we'll begin to see the colder weather start to return. And in the 6 to 10 day outlook from this upcoming Monday through next Friday, the coldest weather is currently forecasted to be on the west side of the United States. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting.